Well, hello, and welcome to part 9 of my Game of the Month 146 playthrough. I'm just going to try to uh, get iron working off of uh, one of the sieves that actually has it. Unfortunately, the sieves that do have it don't really like me. But I think I will pay 50 gold. And, uh, try to get it from them. Oh, excellent. Yeah, I'd rather them have uh, navigation than invention, I guess. Iron working. Hmm, should I pick up bridge building while I'm at it? Uh, yeah. Uh, oh well. Yeah, I think it was worth 50 gold to, uh, and get iron working. Saves me the trouble of uh, getting a warrior code at all and researching iron working. So that worked out. Okay, so coal, I might as well. And just keep going, hides. Yep. So in the last video, uh, my recording didn't seem to work out too well. Hopefully it will work out better this time. But uh, the last recording has a whole bunch of... Uh, like It seems to have skipped a whole bunch of frames, I guess. And it uh, slowed down, so it took longer. I had to do all sorts of stuff to get it even in a semi-usable uh, state. Even then, you may, not want to, you may have uh, been better off to skip it. Okay. Hmm. I guess physic. Oh, I guess uh, magnetism isn't available this uh, round. I or your yeah. Okay, gunpowder. No, that'll uh, get rid of the warrior slot, which I uh, still want to have. Chemistry. No, I'll go with bridge building and uh, trade for it. That'll work. Uh, I'm not in a position to have a democracy yet, unfortunately. Wasn't last turn 1760? Yeah, I think this happened to me in the last video. Yeah, and then you know, again, I only get to move couple of units. Okay, now that is really strange. I have no idea why it does that. Advisor, minister. Okay, yeah, fine, you can have invention. So I better get to work on uh, some caravans. I don't want to lose uh, Leonardo's workshop. I mean, it's not a great risk, but still. Just might as well go for it. The deer will uh, will be the place for this one. Because I can then just uh, leave stuff there, and if I need to send it off, I can. And home food. So okay, Bork spice and beads. Either of those. Uh, let me check out the demand for spice. Supply and demand. Spice. 
Okay, so there's Zoo City that demands it, but whatever. Okay, well, I guess I should have uh, rethought this whole um, uh, load three things because my ship chain can't handle it yet. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. So, this place uh, is hunger now. And I'll leave that in Tron time for the moment. So at uh, London Heights is worth four. Yeah, so I can either have a shield or it might actually be worth delivering to uh, get around to a different city to uh, get the luxuries. Actually, once I get Leonardo's workshop, I will be able to switch to democracy. So it doesn't matter. Why is this place building a diplomat? Oh, I know why. Probably because uh, last time I was concerned about needing uh, to steal a technology. I think I can uh, risk uh, the hides from the Udal, so to uh, avoid uh, a possible uh, advanced tribe, which I'm not supposed to uh, get. Oh, 50 gold. That's nice. Now there's a risk of that dying, but uh, whatever. I guess I should actually be uh, putting in some serious effort to uh, spend my money here. Because, I mean, there's no point in keeping hundreds of gold. Uh... Actually, no, this is pretty good for uh, three turns. Oh, 
Okay, so how did it come to be that Kladir was supporting... Well, oh, I think I rehomed one here. Uh, from... Uh, Osawa. And wait a minute. I think Uppsala should be, uh, doing something more important than... Definitely more important than caravan building, which should, uh, can't even uh, create a commodity for at the moment. So I guess on the next turn I will start with something uh, well, like a university or Isaac Newton. Well, I guess building caravans is equivalent to building Isaac Newton. So I guess once I get the uh, ship chain properly established, I will go and start building settlers. And claiming small territory. Or might even be engineers at that point. I don't know, once I decide if I get enough money that I don't have to worry about keeping the warriors around for uh, cheaper rush building units. just when I decide to uh, go and uh, get feudalism for theology. In which case, if no one else researches it, I may have to uh, go and uh, research uh, warrior code myself anyway. So in order to do that, I will direct the... Oh. Yeah, that's right. Mm, I'll worry about it next turn. Magnetism. The deer spice. Look out! Sala food supplies. Magnetism. Nice. Okay. Atomic theory. Chemistry or steam engine. I guess I'll go with chemistry. Okay, now that will that's a, this is a bit of a fix. The uh, the Aztecs have come over with a trireme, which I seem to remember happening before. I mean, they seem to be on good terms, but on, so let's see here: one, two, three, four, five. Okay. That's a problem. This, I guess this is the downside to having, like, no military whatsoever, is that, uh, you can run into situations where they could actually just come and walk into your city. But if that happens, I will just deal with it. It's not like I can put any, uh, meat shield in to prevent it. And, you know, I mean, part of the whole minimalist uh, military idea is that you accept these kinds of risks. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, excellent. Leos. Yeah, 
I guess technically leaving Uppsala completely undefended isn't the uh, best thing to, in the world to do. Hmm. I think the next place for this uh, Holy Deer Settler to go is up to Viborg. Mine some of those hills. Or build a city. Here, I will... Put that down. Okay. Lots of stuff for uh, Isaac Newton. Or not Isaac Newton. Leonardo's workshop. Definitely the silk is more valuable. If it even comes along now. Diplomat is a good idea. If it comes to it, I'll just bribe our his back. Hmm, I guess exploring a little bit with that careful is uh, silly. I do want to give you, uh, okay, mathematics will work. I wanted to give you polytheism, but, uh, no, I'm not paying a hundred bucks to you for the privilege of giving you technology to influence your research. I'm not 150 for you. Excellent place. Wait. View. One, two, three, four, five. View. View. One, two, three, four, five. Not such a great thing. I have to wait there. View. One, two, three, four, five. And a nice 150 uh, ransom. 
Very nice. So, it looks like I may actually want to support something here. I have the uh, extra shield there, so it's not terrible. Yep, diplomat. That's good. Leave it there for now. Definitely use the food caravans up first. See here. I think the Hladir Salt is about the least valuable thing there. So there we go. I think I'll leave those two caravans there, just for the moment. Actually, no, I will leave that just where it is. Okay, the Aztecs landed on that little island. Uh-oh. That was stupid. Oh. And I forgot to fix that. Okay. Well, I would be in a better position if I hadn't just sent 
my uh, my diplomat in the wrong direction. So first of all, Vborg was supporting something. Okay, so I lost that. I thought it was supporting two things. Unless something was over here. Oh. Completely forgot about Westness. worried about the uh, the Aztecs coming along. Okay. So it'll be all of a couple of turns. see if I had not moved it all the way over there fearing the Aztecs, then I would have actually been able to buy back Viborg this turn. Oh well. I guess I can send it out now. Or that was an incredibly stupid thing to do, because I've just made my uh, ship there vulnerable. Seeing as how that's the case, I will bring back that. Started on the university here. Science advisor. I guess I uh, wait to deliver. So the Russians are a republic. And Westness is celebrating. So I shall give it a harbor. Chemistry. Well, I guess I uh, I go for gunpowder now. Incite the revolt, 130, and you get 114 back too. And warrior code. Okay, 
Okay, that wasn't so bad. Well, I think it uh, does show that I should probably have cities up there. Oh, and I wasn't even going to have a diplomat that turn. <sighs> I really have been playing sloppily. This is a good place to end off. I don't remember how long I've uh, been playing. So I will uh, see you next time.